Hey girls and guys, it's Presley and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about bucket lists. Now, when I was younger, I always thought that bucket lists were restricted to only elderly people and sickly people to um, things that they haven't done, but they want to do. So they just write a list of things they want to do before they end up passing on. But then I realized that no matter what we do in life, we're going to die at some point. And it's restrict. Um, bucket lists aren't just restricted to elderly people or sickly people. It's for anybody. It's for anyone who just decide. You know what? There are just some things that I really want to do that I haven't done, and I'm just gonna make a list on things on things I want to do. But for me, my opinion about bucket lists, I just go with the flow. Whenever I try to make a bucket list, it just doesn't turn out real good. Last time I made a bucket list, I just ended up writing on, um, writing on places I want to go, like Disneyland slash Disney World, New York, but it was just places I want to go. It's not like places I want, like, not just places I want to go or things I want to do. It was just places I want to go to. I didn't put on things I want to do or things I want to say to people or just anything in general like that. I just go with the flow. If something's planned for me, say that um, I'm going to Utah next month in August, that was that was mostly planned for me. I didn't really put that on my bucket list at all. It was just planned so my mom could graduate from school to get her degree. Well, she already got it, but she's going to Utah for graduation. And that me and my family are going to go there next month, so... I didn't really put that on a bucket list. It was just decided for me. And I just go with the flow on things that is going to be planned out for me. I'm not the best person when it comes to thinking of goals. When so, I mean, I do plan things out, but it just depends on the situation. Like, how am I going to plan things out for the day? But for the future... That's a hard co concept to imagine because we don't know how the future is going to be like. Some plans could get canceled. Some other things could happen. You just never know what the future is going to hold. I'm not a fortune teller, for sure. That's why I don't do bucket lists. So whatever happens and whatever things that are planned... I just say, okay, that sounds good. Like, I didn't plan to meet one of my childhood heroes and put that on a bucket list. I, I never planned to ride on a plane for the first time. I never planned on going on a cruise. I never planned to get my toe injured by a fucking door. I never planned that. It just happened. And I'm kind of glad that it happened. Not the toe part. Nuh-uh, not the toe part. That just happened. But the good things that have been planned throughout my life, the good stuff, going to places, seeing new people, even though I'm an introvert, but still, it's just all that stuff that's been planned and without writing them down on a list, I'm, I prefer that over anything else, to be honest. It's hard for me to think about goals, but... Maybe eventually I'll think of some, but it just depends on the situation and circumstances. You never have to know how things are going to turn out. It's just whatever happens, happens. We can't control our lives. Well, we could try. The best thing we could do is try. You know that old quote from Star Wars? And if you haven't seen Star Wars, spoiler alert. You know the whole saying of um, that Yoda said, Do or do not, there is no try? I gotta be honest, that part is bullshit. How can you not do something if you don't try? Well, when the more I think about it, that's kind of thinking about goals. How can I not think of a goal if I don't at least try it? Yeah, come to think about it, that's kind of, eh, you know, I might think of some goals for myself in the future. It just depends. Again, depends on the situation. How can we not do something if we don't try it? It's a really good question. The whole do or do not, there is no try thing. It's hard to, it's hard to, to grasp, really. 
I'm not sure what the whole meaning of that quote is because some people just don't, some people don't understand the quote. Some people do. I get it. It's just a quote, but some, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think about that quote and what it really means because I want to know some, um, some details, some context about it. If you guys know the true meaning of that quote from Star Wars, please let me know. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.